So good morning, good afternoon, evening, everybody. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. We have to talk to you about SD-WAN and the Session Smart Networking and the Juniper AIDE portfolio in general. Um, and so I'd like to kick off this session by doing a little bit of like sort of basics. And first by, by basics, I wanna introduce you to what Session Smart is, for those of you who don't know what that is. Session Smart is a new way of routing that was invented by, created, and developed by 128 Technology, which was acquired by Juniper Networks back in December of last year. So Session Smart Technology is a new type of routing invented by 128 Technology. Started you know, six years ago, we were up to about 120 employees just before the acquisition. It's a unique type of routing technology that's founded in the principle that routers should be session aware and session staple. And from that, we're able to gain significant um, uh, uh, benefits from the perspective of experience, scale, security, and many others that you're going to hear about today. Many of the largest enterprises and service providers in the, in, the, in the world are actually deploying our technology from large healthcare companies in North America who are rolling out sites as large as 10,000 locations using our technology as a software-based you know, networking fabric for SD-WAN. The US government and the DOD you know, has, has really embraced our security posture and our technology that allows them to get to the cloud faster and bridge the gap between you know, DOD sites and the public cloud. Some of the largest you know, uh, manufacturing and industrials are also using our technology. You know, for example, oil field you know, services providers who leverage this technology, not just for SD-WAN, but for ensuring like highly secure, segmented, and highly available um, connectivity to their IoT devices all over the planet. So you're gonna hear a lot more about this in today's um, presentations and agenda, um, but just wanted to give a brief introduction of, of what Session Smart is and who we are. We're gonna to focus today on SD-WAN, of course, that's the name of the bootcamp, but I didn't wanna step over the fact that this technology has many use cases. Our software-based routers are deployed on the branch, in the, in the data center, in the public cloud, anywhere where services are delivered or provided. And SD-WAN is the focus of today. But many of our customers are leveraging our technology to build out full-blown SD branch, or maybe there's just a router refresh, and they're looking at a new type of technology that can save the money and create more agility in their world. Um, working from home, another, another dramatic use case in the last, last year, IoT. You know, one thing about session-based technology is it really aligns really well with unified communications. And I don't think I have to tell anybody on this call about how challenging it is to get reliable unified communications over the public internet. Well, we can help there as well too. And more and more applications are moving to the cloud and they, from, a, from a security perspective, from a availability perspective, and from a user experience perspective, there are a number of challenges which this type of technology is well served to deliver. The market is huge and growing. So, you know, by all measure, there's many analysts have different views. Uh, IDC forecasts the SD-WAN market growing at over 20% per year to get to a $6.2 billion market by 2024. This is a, a significant size market. By many respects, the SD-WAN market is beginning to eclipse your traditional WAN edge router market in many parts of the world. You know, the go to market is different. There's mixed deployments. So um, we estimate about 60% of the um, business in North America are enterprises, like many of you on the call here, who are going at it um, alone, do it yourself. Whereas you know, the rest of the world are largely leveraging service providers and MSPs or, or network as a service. And that creates a huge opportunity for managed service providers and providers as a whole. A significant amount of our business, for example, is delivered through partners who leverage this technology to deliver differentiated SD-WAN services to enterprise customers, um, retail operators, a whole host of different verticals. So we're very excited about the market. It's, it's, it's growing, it's huge, there's a long way to go here. Let's talk about you know, uh, the 101 of SD-WAN. So why do enterprises adopt SD-WAN? Well, you know, there's some basic you know, statements around why this is the case. First is to ensure resiliency and business continuity. With SD-WAN and multipath routing and leveraging hybrid networking, 
and getting greater visibility into the network, SD-WAN delivers a better experience for the operators. It also delivers a better experience for the, for the users who are consumers of applications. And so by that, that means that as applications move to the cloud, whether, or they be in the data center or on-prem, you know, SD-WAN is a, a tool set that optimizes the user experience end to end. In-depth visibility into performance. This is by far one of the most you know, valuable outcomes of de deploying SD-WAN, in particular, Session Smart SD-WAN. If you think about getting that deep, fine-grained visibility into the user experience and the performance. Granular security policies and controls. As we move applications to the cloud, the security perimeter becomes less well-defined. And as we move toward um, the world of um, SASE and zero trust network attachments, you know, it becomes really critical to apply these granular policies, whether they be for users or applications or for compliance purposes like HIPAA and PCI. And so SD-WAN helps there. And you know, last but not least, you know, Boston Sullivan <laughs> says it and somebody else says, you're saving money. You're saving money on bandwidth. You're getting more bandwidth. Um, you're saving money on OPEX. You're making it easier to manage the network. You're doing more with less. And these are the traditional reasons why SD-WAN is being adopted today. A little bit of SD-WAN 101. And I, and I want to, um, you know, the context for this slide is really SD-WAN as, as, as it has been defined. And there are you know, northbound of 60 vendors in the market that, you know, offer some form of, SD, some form of SD-WAN, and there's many different definitions here, but the initial foray for SD-WAN was pretty straightforward. Whether you take a Gartner definition, which really defined it as a lightweight, you know, router replacement with multipath routing, with simplified global orchestration, and a secure VPN overlay capabilities. I mean, it can't get much more simpler to that. Or the MEF, which is the diagram below, have gone to lengths to define more specifically this architecture. But the basics are here. SD-WAN emerged as an architecture for virtual networking. And by and large, it was, it was invented in, by and large, most of the SD-WAN legacy service providers and offerings are based on a tunnel-based VPN overlay. That means IPsec or GRE. You know, it's based on multiple connectivity types, hybrid WAN, meaning MPLS, broadband, LTE, providing that path diversity and that resiliency uh, to deliver a better customer experience. Um, edge devices are either physical or virtual in a head end, on premise or cloud based, you know, extending these fabrics not just from the traditional WAN edges, but all the way into the public cloud and to SASE. And it's a software based capabilities that include. You know, the key elements are multipath routing, application identification to provide the application-specific SLEs associated with an SD-WAN deployment. And security, of course, can't be overlooked. So basic layer four firewall and virtual private networking. Some vendors have advanced firewall functionality or next-gen firewall functionality as well. And this is all tied up by centralized control and orchestration and management to provide central configuration and policy, management and visibility across the network. So this is the, the basics of SD-WAN 101. The challenges are that, you know, as we look toward where we're going, you know, Forrester actually did a survey not too long ago and found that, you know, SD-WAN is being applied by most enterprises as the number one initiative to providing an improved user experience. I can't say enough about that. However, there's some challenges with the traditional SD-WAN, let's call that 1.0, that get in the way of optimizing that experience. For one, you know, these traditional overlays were optimized for connecting devices, not users with experiences. And we'll, you'll see in some of our presentation today how that session orientation, the session is the thing that connects all the attributes that deliver a customer experience from client to cloud. You know, SD-WAN 1.0 limited was or completely lacked any AI or machine le uh, learning vision. So going forward, you'll see the trends are in the opposite. But, I mean, Juniper is leading the market in AI and ML for SD-WAN and for SD-Branch in general. You know, and so, uh, and many of the other providers are copying that message. Uh, SD-WAN 1.0 is clunky. This tunnel-based overlay adds up to 50% overhead in bandwidth and, and, and you know, uh, 
performance consuming overhead that is unnecessary and increased infrastructure costs. You know, taking away those clunky tunnels, is, as you'll see in our presentations today, gives that back to the applications that need them. That reduces your overall bandwidth cost or bandwidth consumption and provides more optimal user experiences. Um, scale is really important, as, especially for large enterprises and service providers. And frankly, these overlays just don't scale. They force into, into architectures that really do have an impact not only on cost, but also the user experience. And last but not least, is that you know, uh, you'll know you see it, security and, and networking are coming together, you know, but the SD-WAN 1.0 is still relying on an outdated perimeter security model, in our opinion, and there's a lot of work to be done. With a session-based fabric combined with Juniper's connected security, you're gonna see in today's presentation how we bring those things together very well. You know, it, it comes down to the router. When, it, when the WAN is about the edge and the edge is about the router, and legacy routers were engineered for connectivity. You know, we're transforming the router, and they're therefore transforming the, the fabric and the user experience by session-based um, application visibility. Um, the fabric's defined to be dynamic and service-centric, very much like the cloud. You know, old school networks were defined around IP address, you know, domains and physical links and physical edges. You know, in this new world of session smart, very much like the cloud, it's end-to-end, -end, it's application smart, it's session smart. And performance is really key, as we mentioned before. Security, um, you know, in the old world, you know, I think Forrester once called it like an M&M. Security was like hard on the outside and soft on the inside. Well, you know, session-based networking turns that upside down and bakes security just right into the fabric. And I think we have a session on that as well today too. So. What are the trends going forward? You know, these are these are from the Gartner MQ from last year, and they they you know express what the top five future trends are for SD WAN. First is the thin versus thick branch. What a thick branch is is locating all your network functions in one place on the premise. So security, firewall, WAN, everything, versus a thin branch where you know it's much more dynamic and uh, flexible, where network functions can be deployed in the cloud or distributed. You know. You know, our technology supports both of these models. However, I would say that the thin branch seems to be winning. It's much more flexible, it's for the agile IT, and it has a significant impact on cost. So you'll see more of that coming in the presentation today. There's no doubt that security and networking are merging, you know, and, and, and by and large being driven by the fact that our applications are moving to the cloud and our security perimeters are changing forever. But this merging of application security you know, is what helped bring 128 technology and Juniper together. Zero trust fabrics with the best in network connected security together, you know, offering solutions for secure SD-WAN and a really great pathway to SASE. Um, as I said earlier, um, AI, Juniper is leading the way with the MIST AI client to cloud experience for the branch and for the WAN. Um, this is a significant trend and Juniper is leading the way. And you'll see in some of our presentations, we actually have a demo, I believe, uh, where we have very quickly from the integration of the two companies brought forth WAN Assurance AI integration with the SSR and the MIST cloud. Third um, and fourth, sorry, SD branch. You know, SD branch is defined as, as, as a way to orchestrate not just the WAN edge, but the wireless and the wired infrastructure on premise. And I can't think of any better solution than the AIDE MIST portfolio with the Wi-Fi access points, the EX switch portfolio, and now the 120AT router. All of these components now orchestrated and managed under the AI MIST umbrella. And last but certainly not, not least, application analytics. You know, one of the one of the driving forces for session-based networking was to get to that really fine-grained application and user analytics. And you know, AI is like it just thrives on data. And so the combination of AI with with session smart networking and the and the fine grain analytics is a, is a winning formula going forward. And we'll talk about that today too. You know, so let's you know better together. So the Juniper client to cloud checks all of the boxes from a trend perspective, from the SD branch, security, convergence, AI ops, you name it. You know, the session smart router was integrated and acquired to, to fill that gap between wired and wireless and into the public cloud. 
you know, and last, I want to give some insights, and this is where we're going to point our departure to the other presentations today. We're, you know, session smart routing is the next step in the evolution of SD-WAN, in our opinion. You know, Juniper started with secure routers and then began with application and network-centric based routing. Session smart is very unique and dovetails quite nicely with the AI ops self-driving network. It is the, again, sessions are the, the glue that binds applications and the network to the user experience. So four things, if you want to remember from this slide, it's experience-based. You know, this session orientation, deep visibility and insights and fine-grained control are what make the network, you know, self-healing and, and application aware and deliver that user experience. Everything about this, this solution is user-centric. Our data model is not in the old world of IP addresses and fixed nodes and link states. It's in the language of, of applications and services and tenancy and, and users. And it's distributed across every element in our architecture by our, our session smart conductor. It's tunnel free. One benefit of moving to a session-based routing architecture is you no longer need those clunky tunnels. You get back that bandwidth. Um, your hosting costs drop, your failover increases, you get more bandwidth for your applications, and applications just perform better. And lastly, you know, by the, you know, from the ground up, we built this fabric to be zero trust. That means that not one packet traverses this, this network that isn't, you know, uh, authorized to do so through user-centric policies. And we have a session on, on our security, you know, posture later in this presentation as well. Together, you know, with Juniper Connected Security and the SRX, you know, is a, is a winning formula to increase your security posture, your secure connectivity, and give a really great pathway to SASE.